hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody I'm working on a weekend reading for you guys. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? And thank you so much everyone for all of your support. I, you know, I hope you know I truly appreciate you all. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers. A huge, huge welcome to everybody new here. Hi, welcome. I'm Mammy Becca. You can call me Lulu too. Keep the nicknames coming, you guys. I love them. <laughs> all right, so um, what I'm picking up on here is a masculine who's absolutely miserable with this Queen of Wands that they chose over you, okay? Your energy isn't out here yet. Um, but they're thinking about you. This is your energy right here, that Ace of Cups, right here. This is the Holy Grail Cup of Love, the blessing that they could have had, all right? Um, but they missed out on that opportunity. When Spirit gave them, like, an opportunity with you, when you came into this person's life, um, they turned their nose up at you. They focused on other people, and they chose this Queen of Wands over you. Um, and this Queen of Wands, I feel like she's, um, she could be very promiscuous. I'm, I'm kind of getting the sense that when they chose this Queen of Wands um, over you, they, they were kind of in awe of this Queen of Wands because she is, you know, the Queen of Wands is very beautiful, very sexy, right? They had this lustful, passionate relationship with each other. All right, but that's really all it was. And now this masculine is starting to realize that they don't want to be with her anymore. Like, um, she's starting to do weird things. Um, they're just like, everything is um, annoying uh, to this person, okay? There's this Ben Stiller movie. I don't know the name of it. Please drop a comment. They keep showing me the scenes from this this movie where he, he ends up getting married to this woman and she ends up being like a complete animal and like really whiny and really like it drives it drives him insane okay he doesn't like to be around her and that's what this energy is you know they started a relationship with this queen of swords it was a lustful passionate relationship okay and now they're realizing that this person is they're really annoyed and aggravated by everything this Queen of Wands is doing, okay? They don't want to be with her anymore. They're miserable. They're really only thinking about you and feeling like a, an absolute fool. Um, this was an impulsive decision that they made. So, I mean, they I feel like maybe they were seeing you and then all of a sudden she walks by and they chased after something they saw was shinier, okay? Something that someone that was flashier, shinier, yeah. And they left you behind for this Queen of Wands and they can't stand it anymore. <laughs> I'm really picking up on that movie. I, I, I hope you guys drop a comment, you know, drop me a lifeline. I don't know the name of the movie, but um, yeah, like she sings in the car nonstop, you know, in the movie, right? She, um, she's just driving this person kind of crazy, okay? So, yeah, this masculine doesn't want to be there anymore. They're thinking about how they're going to say this to her, okay? They're really putting in a lot of serious thought behind how they're going to word things with this Queen of Wands. Because um, they're getting ready. Yeah, see, everything is driving them crazy. They're... Everything she's doing is aggravating and annoying this masculine. You guys, I'm sorry. I can't stop laughing because they're showing me that the scenes from that movie. Um, yeah, please drop a comment if you know the movie I'm thinking about. Yeah, they want, they're going to tell her they, wanna, they want to choose a different path. They're going to tell her that it's over. Okay? That they don't, they prefer not to talk to her anymore. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Yeah, I prefer not to speak with you anymore. You know, I prefer it if we just end this. <laughs> you know, this isn't for me. Let's end this so that I can go to somebody else. Like, for real. I feel like they want to come towards you. Yeah, with an apology. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> you could be dealing with a Pisces, maybe a Gemini, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I've also got Virgo out here. 
maybe Aries. All right, so yeah, and um, there may even be a wedding or an engagement, okay, between these two. They're calling that off as well. So yeah, it's kind of like kind of like the movie, you guys, that I keep picking up on. Um, yeah, and their home, I feel like this person is like, yeah, I would rather sell the home, uh, split up, not see you or talk to you anymore, okay, yeah, so that I can go and apologize to the collective, yeah. If there's an engagement or a wedding planned, it's going to be over. Um, if they have a home together, someone here is going to move out or they're both going to move out. There could be a huge fight that pops off. Um, this karmic's friends could get involved in this too. Start blowing up this masculine's phone. You know, how could you do this? Right? That kind of thing. <laughs> how could you hurt my friend? Yeah. Um, they just don't want this anymore. Okay. They can't, they can't take it. They don't even want to be home around this karmic. Oh, man. Yeah, they're coming to their Two of Cups, which is you, the Empress. Um, and they want this second chance with you. They want a new beginning, okay? They don't want to let you go. You're their happiness. You're their son, okay? You're their happiness. You're their soulmate. This person, they don't want to, they don't want to commit with this other um, Queen of Wands. They don't want to have anything to do with this Queen of Wands. I'm hearing she's kind of a freak. I don't know what that is all about, but she does weird things or annoying things. Okay, <laughs> this person cannot deal with it. Um, yeah, I'm hearing deviated septum. Is that from the movie or is that she's got, I don't know, something about the way she eats is driving this person crazy, driving them to drink. Yeah, that's what this is. Yeah, she's driving them to drink. This person, this masculine, could drink a lot. They could hang out at the bar a lot because they don't want to go home anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they can't take it anymore. Judgment. They just know they, they, this isn't who they want to be with, okay? Okay. This, this karmic is starting to annoy them so much that they can't take it anymore. That's um, really what this is. They've, they've got to come out with it. They're making a clear decision here of what they want. And I feel like you are their wish fulfillment, the empress. Okay, their soulmate connection. So, yeah, they're about to um, break it off with this karmic to come towards you. There's going to be a fight, though. Yep, you're their wish, the star. You're their happiness. Okay. I'm hearing sun, moon, and stars. Yep, you're the one that they're in love with, so they're going to be coming forward, okay? And they're going to be begging for your forgiveness. They're going to want um, possibly to commit to you. This is a, um, I feel like this is a commitment that they want to make. Yes. And this could all be going down this weekend. Okay. Yeah, there's going to be a fight. Um, I'm not so sure that this karmic is going to want any revenge, though. You know, she's in this Queen of Wands energy where I kind of feel like, she, you know, she's not been out of shape over going to the next person and, you know, playing with them. The, the Queen of Wands, she, I don't think she was really wanting a full on, I don't know, She her heart wasn't in it. Okay, but there is going to be a fight. Yeah, there's going to be a fight. And your name is going to be brought up. So she must know about you. You could be a Leo. You could maybe be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy Leo energy, though. Yep, your name is going to be brought up. Because this person, this masculine, yes, that's the truth. Huh? That's the truth. Because this masculine is going to be, they're going to talk about how upset they are that they chose her over you. This is going to come out in a fight. Harsh words are going to be shared now between both of them because this masculine 
they're going to know they need to fight to get out of this and they're not going to back down. Okay, but I feel like, um, yeah, your name is going to be brought up definitely. But I feel like she's just going to go to the next person anyway. Okay, she is. She is. I feel like she, maybe there's things about this masculine that are annoying her. All right. What else can you show me for my beautiful collective? Yeah, change. Yeah. Yeah, see? She's just going to go to the next person. <laughs> this page of wands. She's already been flirting with them. Okay. Um, yeah. She's got someone new already. And this cycle is closing out. Um, and I feel like the, your person's going to be coming directly to you ready okay i feel like they're they're gonna be ready that they, they don't want anybody else but you this is really weighing heavy on them let's see what they want to say okay what does this person want to say to my beautiful collective yeah i don't she's doing like a multitude of things that really annoy this person okay i'm single I feel like this is maybe what you're saying. I'm single right now. I'm not attached to anyone and not looking to get into a relationship at this time. Yeah, but they're feeling lost, okay? I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore. And it's easier just to stay in silence. Yeah, but that's that silence is about to be broken. Letting the past go. Can we rewind, rewind time and go back to before we were both broken down by life? Our past, our past hold us back from our future. They want to try to restart. They, this person's going to be wanting your forgiveness. Okay, they miss you. Um, they're missing you. I, I miss you. I wish things were different. Yeah, they wish they made a different choice from the get-go okay they wish they would have chose the empress it's simple really how do i feel i want you us forever yeah tears when i think about you i cry this isn't goodbye i don't want to walk away but it's what's best for me and us right now this isn't goodbye we will be together again soon yeah I feel like this person that walked away from you, they're about to come back around, okay? They're feeling lost without you. They're really hoping that you'll give them a second chance. I'm not so sure that they will or that you will give them a second chance, but there is something that they have to say. There's something I really want to share with you. I'm waiting for the right time to tell you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I disappeared. I needed to get away and clear my head. Yeah, so this is someone who ghosted you. And yeah, no, they they got away and chosen uh, this Queen of Wands. But they're going to be done with her now. Yeah, wild side, jealousy. I feel like this person wants to see your wild side. There's a side to you I haven't seen. And I want to. I want to see you let loose and get wild. Let's have some fun. Um, they're very jealous. They can barely stand it because they know you're out here single. They don't want you with anybody else. They see you looking good and, uh, and moving on. I don't care who you're talking to. I'm better. I will compete for you. So, yeah, you're perfection to this person. Your beauty amazes me. I'm not sure how I attracted in someone like you, but I'm forever grateful. Yep. So this person is about to come back around. All right. They're, um, they're, they're wanting to just start a lovely relationship right out the gate. But there's going to be a lot of, if you do choose to take this person back, there's going to be a lot of healing that you'll have to do with them together. Okay. Anyway, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. Um, like and subscribe to the channel, you guys. Join this awesome, awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.